Ah, Dungeons and Dragons, the game for sweaty nerds who sit in their mom's basements delusional about reality. Well, not quite. D&D has gained quite the attraction lately from social media and pop culture. But before it became as mainstream as it is now in 2020, it was a simple tabletop RPG created by Gary Gygax and Dave Arson in 1974 for their friends and other fantasy buffs. It was originally called Chainmail, a game that simulates medieval combat, but it eventually evolved into a game of RPG where people play as characters such as knights and wizards with bizarre personalities and elaborate backstories. Each character must have a few basics, race, class, alignment, and a personal story behind the character. Each character is unique to the player, with every choice they make, with every design to the character, or describing their backstory. For those who don't know, an RPG game, or role-playing game, is a game in which players assume the roles of characters in a fictional setting. Players take responsibilities for acting out these roles within a narrative, either through literal acting, or through a process of structured decision-making regarding character development. Since D&D is so old, it's been remade a few times with different elements added or taken away each time. The most modern version is 5th edition, which is mostly combat-based. The combat in D&D is created by rolling dice and simple math to see what the damage is. But other people enjoy it for different reasons, so I decided to go to my school's D&D club to see what other people enjoy about D&D. Um, I like D&D because I get to hang out with like a bunch of people that I want to like, hang out with. Of course, I hang out with my friends that go there, but also like there's other people that I don't have any classes with that are there. And I've made several new friends because of it, so like, I'll probably never stop going until I'm a senior. I come back every week because my friends are there. I like D&D, because like, every friend I have goes there. All my friends are there. Everyone I know. I learned about D&D with Zach, actually. He was like, he wasn't begging me, but he was like, hey, you should go to D&D, try it out. And I'm like, sure. And then I fell in love with it. I am playing as Spring, the High Elven Druid. I am currently playing as Rain, a monk. What drives my character to do stuff is like making sure people are doing well and helping people that <laughs> are good people <laughs> and that need help. Rain is motivated by the pain she sees in her friends. Oh boy, alright, let me tell you. His name is Aragorn. He's a halfling. He's a very, I must say this very vegan communist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. She likes animals. I am playing as a tiefling, like, demon boy bard named Geef. He just wants to have, like, a good time. It's so interesting to see what young people like about such an old game, but its rise in popularity is from pop culture. The Netflix original Stranger Things started the series with a game of Dungeons & Dragons, and introduces the concept of a dungeon master and their players. The DM is a person who basically controls the game. They control a town and its people, the NPCs the players run into, the story, the traps, the dungeons, and yes, even the dragons. In this case, the DM is Will. He puts his friends against a Demogorgon. Demogorgons are actual creatures in the game, but they look a little different compared to each edition of D&D. Other social media influencers are hopping on the train and playing D&D as podcasts. The most notable ones are The Adventure Zone and Critical Role. Critical Role is a podcast featuring Matt Mercer as a DM, containing the Mighty Nine. The Adventure Zone stars the McElroy brothers as their dad, Clint McElroy, as the DM. It's a lot of work being a dungeon master, but with all these new players, I need some new gods. So I met up with Nathan Brown, a young DM with a knack for storytelling. Hello, I'm Nathan. Uh, I play D&D. Uh, I've been playing for almost a full year in the same campaign and I like kind of making the stories and like the world all kind of come together a little bit and like uh, it just is interesting to like kind of see your friends uh, like put characters that they've made into a world that you make and just kind of like seeing it all play out. I feel like we need more people to get into DMing because it feels like whenever I'm trying to set up a new group it's like all right we've all we're all here we all want to play D&D and then it's like all right who wants to DM and it's like nobody wants to DM because, uh, and it's, it's tough to do, uh, but I feel like it's important to learn. It's a good skill to have to be able to play D&D. My DMing inspiration is mostly uh, Narwhal from the D&D podcast Just Roll With It. As he sort of <laughs> recomposes himself for a second, his face pretty flustered at this point, he grabs one of the nearby barrels 
and goes to slam it towards you, Mountain. That's going to be a 19 to hit. Uh, he's really, he's really good at his job. Uh, he's funny, he's entertaining, and he's good with rolling with things and kind of improvising on the fly, as well as powerful world building and characterization and stuff. Dungeons and Dragons have really brought people together, young and old, from the DMs who have created stories for years to the new generations of kids with new ideas. Inspiring others to join a world of creativity, to create your own character, be another person, fight dragons and other creatures, solve puzzles in dungeons, being a sense of family in a world of nerds. So yeah, we are still a bunch of nerds with a delusional sense of reality. We just moved out of the basement. It's an actual- yeah!